This morning I I woke up feeling disoriented. You know that strange, almost unsettling feeling when nothing seems right. It's like waking up in a fog and no matter how hard you try, you just can't seem to shake it off. For me that sensation hit hard as soon as I opened my eyes. It it wasn't the usual grogginess of a night's sleep. It was deeper. The kind of disorientation that makes you question if if you're even ready to face the day. As I slowly got out of bed, I glanced around my room and everything was in disarray. Clothes sitting on my dresser from last week, staring back at me. <laughs> it's funny how your surroundings can mirror your mind cluttered space cluttered thoughts and let me tell you my mind was definitely cluttered i just stood there for a moment taking it all in feeling the weight of it you know sometimes it's not just the big things that overwhelm us it's the small neglected tasks that start to add up that laundry pile it was more than just clothes it represented everything i'd been putting off Everything I'd been too tired or too stressed to deal with. Each item in that pile was like a little reminder of all the decisions I hadn't made and all the things I hadn't finished. There's a part of me that wanted to just walk away, to ignore it all for one more day. Maybe I could just pretend it wasn't there. (laughs) And somehow, everything will magically be fine tomorrow. But deep down, I knew that wouldn't help. I knew that I'd still wake up tomorrow feeling the same way. Disoriented, out of control, like I was drowning in my own space. So I made a decision, even though it took a surprising amount of effort, I decided to start with something simple, something manageable. I decided to fold that laundry. Folding that laundry in the morning isn't usually part of my routine. Honestly, it felt like a massive task, even though it really wasn't. But there was something about just doing it, taking that small step, that felt like reclaiming a bit order of my life. I found myself thinking about how small tasks, the the ones we even overlook, can have such a big impact on our mental state. It wasn't just about the clothes, it was about giving myself permission to take things one step at a time. I realized that by starting with something small, I was clearing not just physical space, but mental space as well. The act of folding that laundry became more than just a chore. It was a way to ground myself, to begin the process of untangling my thoughts. And as I continued, I noticed something interesting. With each item I folded, I felt a little lighter, a little more at ease. It was like I was folding away the chaos, tucking it neatly out of sight (laughs) and making room for some peace and quiet in my life. And in my mind, the mess wasn't completely gone. There were still dishes to be washed, floors to sweep. But I had done something. I had started. And sometimes that's all it takes to feel a little better. A little more like you're on the right track. It's strange how We often underestimate the power of the small actions. We think that to make a difference, we need to do something big, something life-changing. But the truth is, it's the little things that add up, that create the foundation for bigger changes. As I finished, I took a moment to just breathe, (laughs) to appreciate the small sense of accomplishment. 
it wasn't much in the grand scheme of things, but that, that was enough for now. Enough to remind me that I'm capable of taking control, even if it's just one small thing at a time. If you're waking up feeling overwhelmed, if your mind feels as messy as the space around you, just remember, it's okay to start small. It's okay to take it one step at a time. Don't pressure yourself to fix everything at once. Sometimes just holding the laundry is enough to begin finding that sense of calm, that bit of clarity. Life can get chaotic and it's easy to feel lost in the mess, but today I learned that even the smallest acts can make a difference. It's not about doing everything, it's about doing something. And today, folding the laundry was exactly what I needed to start moving forward. So, take a deep breath, look around, and find your first small step. It might be folding laundry, washing a dish, or even just making your bed. Whatever it is, know that it's enough. You are enough. And that's how you start moving forward, one step at a time.